Heron's formula. Let's move on to the next topic, area of equilateral triangle. Now recall what is an equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle is a triangle having all the three sides equal. So let me consider one equilateral triangle. Let me name this triangle. Say PQR. This point is P. This is Q. This is R. And we can say that all the three sides of the triangle are equal. That is, which are the three sides? PQ equal to QR equal to PR. So all the three sides of the triangle are equal. That is, PQ is equal to QR is equal to PR. If S is the side of equilateral triangle, then the area of equilateral triangle is given by root 3 upon 4 into side square. So suppose this is S. So if PQ is S, then we can clearly say that PR and QR are also S because all the three sides are equal. Then this area of the triangle is given by root 3 upon 4 into side square. So this side can be, you can select any side because all the three sides are equal. So it doesn't matter. So I can also write down which is equal to root 3 upon 4 into side that is s square so root 3 upon 4 into s square if you want to find out the area of equilateral triangle then you should know this side so let the side be 6 centimeter each that is each side be equal to say 6 centimeter so what we can do is in this formula we can substitute the value that is root 3 upon 4 into side the value of side is 6 so i can write down 6 square which can be further equal to root 3 upon 4 into 6 square will give you 36 so this will become 36 4 and 36 will get cancelled you will get 9 the final answer will be so 9 root 3 units square units so 9 root 3 is the answer so let us take one more example so here is an equilateral triangle for you find the area of the triangle with sides 4 cm each the sides are 4 cm each that is this side is 4 cm also this side is 4 cm also this side is 4 cm we know that area of an equilateral triangle that is i can say a is given by root 3 upon 4 into side square the s in this case is 4 that is the side is 4 right what i can write down in the next step is root 3 upon 4 into 4 square we have just substituted the value of s as 4 so 4 and 1 4 will get cancelled so what will remain this 4 root 3 will remain so 4 root 3 is the final answer since the unit is centimeter over here we will write down square centimeters